All right, hello everybody and welcome. Um, I started Amnesia the Dark Descent. I've done this before on console and I feel like I didn't do it too well. And so I want to do it again because I don't remember much. And these seem like the OG horror game that everyone started on. So at some point I got to hit them, you know, me being the big, uh, the big streamer that I am. I already clicked once and it just it said we're going to ask you a few questions to start. And so I don't think I missed anything yet, but here y'all go. I like the music so far. It's very spoopy music. Very spoopy. Um... Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Okay, that's a little different. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. Interesting. When you choose to leave the game, just choose save and exit. You can use the continue to, ret to return where you left off next time you start the game. I like that. I like the games that save when you leave. So whenever you gotta go, you gotta go. Sometimes you get busy. Sometimes something comes up. Life isn't always easy and predictable. You think you might be free for an hour, but you had five minutes. You never know. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place, and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. It's another one of those games. Interplay between light and dark is very important to the game because it is vital to set up your gamma correctly. Use the cider below to adjust until the square on the right is barely visible. Also, play in a dark room and wear headphones for the best effect. All right, at that point, I can't really see the box on the right on my TV. I can look over my OBS and I see it. Just because of the two different monitors with the different gamma. So this is good for me. This is the setting it wants. I can see the box. I can't see the box at all. So, 0.95 gamma it is. That is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of amnesia. Frictional games. It's like fictional and friction became one word. Oh! It's a very small menu. Uh, I'm creating a character. Let's go. Let's go with Wayne. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slightly turn the volume down. Sorry, I'm slightly turning the volume down here. I'm making a call. I need to make sure my voice is louder. And so, that's my issue. Is I always struggle with. But if I can see the bars going louder than I'm talking, that's an issue. Like right now, it's pretty equal. All right. Um, let's call ourselves Hamburger. Hamburger. Yes, sir. Mr. Hamburger. Start a new game. Custom story. Options. Let's do options. Uh, graphics. It says some changes will need to restart. Advanced options. Resolution. High. Uh, resolution. Hi. Okay. Some changes you'll need to restart take effect. Okay. Some changes you'll need to restart. Okay. So you might see me right now, and I'm going to cut right here, and you'll see me in two seconds. All right. Welcome back. Adventures of the Hamburger can now begin. The way the game was designed, the enemies will spot you more easily. Tin box knows hard. Well, we're going to go. We're going to go normal. Listen, I'm, I'm, her I'm terrible at horror games. Terrible. What I think I'm confident in is normally what I'm going to fail at the most with horror games. If it's a shooter, yeah, I can fight back. Don't it's just forget. a matter of skill. Some uh, things must be forgotten. Uh, what? Shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at uh, Daniel! Mayfair. Damn, what Daniel! This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. Stop who? My name is... is... Your name's Daniel? I am Daniel. Yes! Yes! Correct! Come on, Daniel, what's happening? I'm suffering from amnesia. Ah! Ah! I, I got it! I see! It's called amnesia. And I guess I got amnesia. So I gotta go down the dark descents next. <laughs> I got half the title done. Technically, if you break it up, it's like 25% of the title. Amnesia, the dark descent. So this is amnesia. I'm at 25%. Now I gotta find the other 75% of the game. Oh, motion blurs on. Mementos been added to the journal for quick reference. Your mementos. Press M to check whenever you are stuck. No diaries. Mementos. Follow the liquid trail to find its source. Notes. There are no notes. This is rather impressive. 
I don't remember it looking this good, but I think I played on a PlayStation last time. That's loud. That is very loud. Oh, it's one of those. It's the, the door physics. You gotta door the door. I got salt? No, I got a tinderbox. That looked like salt or pepper. I got a chair. Let's make the spooky stuff sit down in my chair. Or I can just like, you know, like, oh, I'm tired. Just hop on top. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, it's time for a break. Oh, time to continue. Let me bring my trusty chair. I can use this as a defense. The horrible monsters can't get me, right? They use a chair? Yeet. That's a spooky lightning. <gasps> Ooh, let there be light. That's cool. I don't think I should be lighting everything. I feel like that tinder box is what I use to light these. I don't know how many uses I got. None. Oh, my my noggin's nogginin'. My brain's a hurting. My skull's a tickling. I don't think I can go this way. That was a bad idea. I'm sorry I touched your door. Please forgive me. Oh, spooky wind. Why is there a, why is there wind in the castle? How did how how was there a breeze? Is it time to hide? Is it time to hide? No, it'll tell me when it's time to hide, right? It'll be like, make sure you hide in cover, and then that's when the monster's gonna eat me like a, eat my booty like a ham sandwich, you know? Never wanna get your booty eaten like a ham sandwich, but sometimes you can't prevent it. Sometimes the monster's just gonna gobble it down, and there's nothing you can do to stop them. Now let there be light. Yeah, that seems cool. Wait, am I missing the room back here? Nah, I'll probably come back. Right, I'll come back. Two giant metal doors. I feel like that's the path forward. So let me just go upstairs real fast, see what's up here. Hello, Sir Knight. Oh, carrying some sloppy stoppies. I'm. Yeah. I've been breathing pretty heavy, too. I just heard someone slopping around over here. Why is there so much creaky wood? There's like barely any wood. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, I fell. I'm scared. Oh, God. Am I dead? Uh, yep. I'm gonna keep moving. That that didn't happen. I just blinked. I sneezed. I let out some gas and apparently I couldn't handle it. Almost passed out. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh man, I gotta go this way, don't I? Okay. You know, when the door's open by a breeze that I can physically see, I'm okay with that. But the door just slowly creak like that no that's a no-go why is everything getting blue is that bad oh my brain being in the darkness hurts my brain my humongous brain and my skull just starts pounding away yeah, it looks like a very kind and calm and friendly room right nothing scary just some chairs scary 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 how was that possible there's no way for a breeze to come in here. Oh my god. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Can I light this? Nope, can't light that. That was... Why? How? Science. Laws of physics. Laws of nature. Why was there a breeze? Ooh, white shirt. I don't need to change my shirt. I need to change my shorts. There's a difference. I pooped myself. Another breeze. Is, my, is the monster a breezy monster? A breezy boy? Is that what's happening? Just a breezy boy up in my face again, breezing his way? Old archives. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick to his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear that she too would be punished. Oh, there's another breezy boy. What is it? Is this me? Is this my droopy? This doesn't look like blood. This looks like, uh, like... Roses. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. Oh yeah, I wonder why. It can be increased by completing puggles and making progress. What's that scratching noise? The power of Christ compels you to leave me the fuck alone. I gotta go in the darkness. I'm out of tinder boxes. I can run while oh, I'm running. Beware, stay in the dark and slowly drain. Turn on lights or use the environment or tinder box around. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's absolutely terrifying. What is happening? Move! That was a spooky room. 
with plenty of bugaroonies. Let's run back really fast. I feel like I'm doing some stupid stuff. Doing some stupid stuff. I see a cannon right there. Gonna light it. 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 I lit it. It's lit. Yeah. Squash some bugs with a book. Yeah. Have a book. Literature. Knowledge is power. And right now, I'm using a book as a weapon. So that's gotta be like power squared. I'm getting like Sky or Oblivion vibes. Like this reminds me of like an Oblivion castle with some zombies running around. I'm not witnessing the unsettling event. I am the unsettling event. A lantern. F. F you, I got a lantern. Selecting with the inventory with tab. Oh, health. Sanity. Head is pounding. Hands are shaking. Oil! I bet that's what my lantern's currently running through. Unfortunate. Have a nice day. I don't like what that was. I heard a thump thump behind me. I'm, I'm gonna keep moving forward so the thump thump doesn't thump me. You know what? Let's close the doors. Let's close the doors behind us. The monsters can't get us if the doors are closed, right? What is going on? Is this castle just possessed? Am I under an earthquake right now? What's in the box? That was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> I hit the ye old lantern. Can I open this? Ah, uh, yes. Let me grab a wooden stick out of there. Ooh, tinder. Picked up oil. All good things come to an end as I have found the end of my light. 19th of August. 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak. What? And yours, young and strong. Oh, yeah. He will be no match for you. Wait, let me go. One oh, yeah. last thing. Okay. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where there, Alexander there's waits. There's the other part of the time. I'm done him. with the game. I forgot, and Your I'm descending into darkness. Daniel. You know, I'm not too keen to murderage. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, murdering people isn't my nature by default. I'm an engineer by trade, not a murderer. Don't gotta go to school to be a murderer. I mean, maybe you could. I don't feel like you'd have to, though. That's, uh, that's a pretty dark uh, juice there. Someone spilled some apple juice, I take it, right? What's behind here? Show me the spillage of apple juice. I can just throw everything. That's pretty nifty. Just make a barricade. Never gotta leave this room again, right? Okay, so... I chose to forget, but I need to kill someone. I feel like that'd be important to remember why you need to kill them. Or you should have killed them and then forgotten? That might be helpful. I feel like you kind of did this backwards. You don't scare me. I've got a oil. I, I swear I keep hearing something running around, but I never find it. Like, it sounds like it's close and then it's running away from me. Oh, that's, that's like empty. It won't budge. Did I miss a door? I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, like I'm hearing something that runs with me. I don't think I'm supposed to be running. I think I just toss that. I got such mad strength. I'm young and strong. Alexander, old and weak. Easily killable. Very easy. Scale of, on a scale of 1 to 10, that guy's an 
Easy tin to kill. I'm not witnessing the unsettling event. You can't fool me into looking at you. I looked away. I feel like I missed something important. If the door won't budge, then how do I budge my way out of here? Oh, dearest self. Oh, Daniel. Forget your quill. Where am I supposed to be going? I know I'm stupid. Oh. Wait. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Why is there hissing? Why is there hissing? Why is that necessary? Stop hissing at me. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Bear Bar Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London, and I didn't read fast enough! It's alright. Okay. So run, hold down this button. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Brennenburg! So are these like rose petals? Did he drop some uh, coinies? What are these? These must be like either rose petals or wax. Probably rose petals. I guess we're going to the refinery. You know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, Feb, uh, Fabrica Elequatoria. French? Oh. It's tough and palliant. Can't be torn by hand or tool. Um. Mementos. Some sort of organic tissue blocks path through the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Oh. Uh, I got acid in my pants, right? You just got acid laying around this castle. I'm sure there's acid. Let's go this way, since it seems like it's not really too blocked. <gasps> Woo! Chest with goodies. Smash the bugs. I saw you, oil. You can't hide from me. Time to leave. All right. Oh, my Christ. I thought I let in a strong breeze. No, it appears the flesh is growing. Can you stop hissing at me? It appears running around like a coward was not my best idea. The wine cellar and the laboratory. Wine cellar first? I don't know. Is it going to throw up more fleshy flesh on me? Locked and it will not open without a key. Okay, then I guess the laboratory. And then if not here, then I got to go upstairs. Hey, what do you know? Traveling to Doberman, going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglected family. Why am I hearing horses? Why are there horses? Ooh, spooky! Spooky! Oh, that looks like a cave-in. That's very recent. Actually, not really. It's cobwebbed over. I think whatever's down there is very upset about me being here, so I'm just gonna, you know, that's that's my that's my advice to leave. That's its way of telling me it doesn't like friends or neighbors. So like a good neighbor, I'm gonna stay over there. What is that thumping? There's so much happening, I don't know what to do. I've got no tinder boxes. Can I just pick a lantern up and carry it? Oh wait. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes by my most recent experiment has taken a toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and it will be difficult to salvage. I do not know what I can move to the wine cellar. Wait, I don't feel like I read all of that. I don't feel like I read all of that. I guess I did. Ha. 
I just got very scared. I don't know why my heart just dropped. That was. So, there should be more Cooper Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Fortress. I'm having flashbacks. I have amnesia. Now I'm having flashbacks of my before my my amnesia. Before I was all amnesia out. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds like the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and opiate are given and copian binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regress instead of aqua fortius and hope it will produce an even more solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic. It proves impractical to put to use except as a de detergent. Detergent, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might not be able to use the recipe, but I am losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Hey, I see you. Get out here. You can't hide from me, Mr. Tenderbox. We're gonna go many places together. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, it's lit. Can I open the... Oh, secrets! One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you, and as long as, uh, for life together, you must know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. I'm flashback again. What is this? What is this? It looks like a- that looks like an opal on top. Hello? Or someone walking on wood? I don't see anyone. Is there another secret door? Last time I didn't look around for long enough. Apparently I missed the secret door. So if there's a secret door, that needs to make itself known because I'm a big old idiot. Yeah, I don't need that chest. Get that out of here. Yeah, get that out of here. We're relocating all these boxes. Yeah, get that out of here. Yeah, 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 get that, yeah, it's gone, yeah, we don't need that, love, that's perfect, that's perfect, that's how I designed my home, put the chest in the middle, walk in, throw your stuff right in the chest off the bat, no need for anything else, will you stop hissing at me, or get a pitchfork and squash you, you little buggies, yeah, let there be light, it's lit, you're not gonna howl at me this time, oh, there appears to be blood under there, I don't think I found a key. Pots contain a mixture. I can take damage, I'm guessing. All is good. A slight headache. So I guess the longer my the darkness, my head thrumps more. There's said there's a shadow after me. I wonder if that's all the noise I'm hearing, but that's something else. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in the steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck this victim with a rock. Oh no. Oh no, being bullied into murdering is a group. That's not very friend. Get away from me. What's that? Hello? I, I, there's a woman that just said, no, get away from me. I think we shouldn't get away from her. We should go help her. Oh, well, if she's there, she's uh, <laughs> not my problem anymore. Talibanarium, the archives. Can I come from the archives? Archives. The fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like one of those at the consulate in Constantinople. Istanbul, the Constantinople. I'm hearing a monster on the right. Why are there so many noises? Stop making noises. I'm, I'm already scared enough as it is. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling 
There's more. So I Later know... that evening, okay, we right. uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So, I know in the most recent Amnesia game, you're in the desert. I wonder if you're there. Oh, it's a little kneeling man! Hello, Mr. Sir! You're the coolest man I've ever seen. You'll protect me. Yeah, you- Oh, I threw him! I can throw! Deep. Yeah, I, I can use him as a armor, uh, offensive weapon, right? This looks like a sword. Go protect me while I go look in the catalog. Kataluki catalogs. I swear. I think I'm hearing my own footsteps, but I turn, I feel like something ran behind me. It's lit. Alright. Yeah, get that chair out of here. You don't like chairs where I'm from. We stand everywhere, like men. Like men. Men aren't allowed to sit ever. Women, they can sit all they want. Men, no sir. You better be standing. Execution's what you're gonna get if you ain't standing. I don't know how to read. Let's go through here. This looks like a fun... This no longer looks like a fun place. I regret everything I've said. You know, I was having a really good time, so whatever the hell that was made a noise. I don't appreciate it. Oh, more linens for when I poop my shirt. I've already pooped my pants, but if I poop my shirt... I swear, the game's like spooking me out by... It's making noises! It's making noises! I look there, no noises. I look down, noises on my right. Look up, no noises. 17th of May, 1839. I don't appreciate it. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. So, based on the fact that there's a part three to this diary, I'm guessing part three is on how you got untrapped. Just a gander. Also, I think it says Daniel's diary, but the D looks like an O. Ooh, boy, that wasn't priceless! Because it just shattered in my hands! I can't leave my statue behind. Hey, you! Sleeping on the job, are you? Get over here, buddy. I gotta use you to figure out where we're going. Yeah. You gotta open the door. Well, you just slam into it. You gotta open the door first. Whoa! Spooky book, spooky. Spooky book, spooky. The music just got really loud. I don't know why. Wait, is that? I don't think that's loud music. I think that's someone playing a piano. Can I light this? It's lit. I think I'm having my oil on too long. I don't know, though. I'm strong. I'll break it open. Break it open. 
How's this door locked? It opens it. Actually, no. The hinges are on the middle. I don't know. That, that door is really hinged. If it opened my way, I could say, yeah, it's locked. But the way it, it moves so much, I wouldn't think it's locked. I think it's unlocked. Oh, there's there's a piano. Whip, whip. I uh, appear to have angered something. There was an angry growl behind me as I slammed the piano shut. My head is pounding and my hands are shaking. That's all right. It's okay. Sometimes your head hurts. Sometimes your hands shake. Just, just wipe your, wipe the dust off your feet. Keep it going. Oh wait, this is where I came in. It's looping. It's a loopy loop. It's a spoopy loopy. Ah, that's a clean hole. That looks cool. That's a lot of neat art. A lot of neato arto. I'm kind of scared. I threw the chair and then something made noises. Like there's a monster nearby. But there wouldn't be a monster in here, would there? Or if there was a monster, I'd get moached. And you wouldn't moach me now, would you? We've been friends for far too long, game. You wouldn't just moach me like I dealt with no one. Ah, yes. Paper. I never learned how to read, so it doesn't bother me when I see paper. Fragile but not breakable by hand. Apparently it broke something. Oh. We're trying to quit hissing at me, you big stupid buggy. I'm gonna step on you. Maps. No, it says tables. This is the table room. For tables only. What is this? Kingdom of Persia. Central Persia. Prince of Persia. That's a good game. Um, having a shock. I'm collapsing. Apparently, collecting my journal is a bad idea. 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Touch. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Oh. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. The broken pieces. I broke it? We went all that way out to the desert just for me to break the puzzle? The, 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 the reward? I broke it today? Why? So if I chose to forget, why did I write it all down? Just so I could remember later? Oh. You can't fool me twice. You did that trick on me earlier playing the piano. Hiya! No one's there. Fragile, but not breakable by hand. So can I break it with a book? Ah. Hey, you, you look like you got a strong hand. Let me just, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that worked. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. He's got a secret library that requires secret books to get out, because that's what that looked like. I saw one of the books on that first shelf on the left. Why does it do that? Stop making those noises. They're spooking me. Let me use book to break. 
Aha! Local folklore. Alstad and Pinnenberg Castle, 1801, another region rich with lore of Alstad, deep within the East Persian mountains. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains, dressed with the scatters of lakes, is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you have proof of widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation, such it will serve as an exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some notable motifs that keep reappearing. The gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrified remnants. They move silently through the woods, shying away. I hope this is a Persian accent. I've got no idea. Shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers. They seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them. Oh. That's terrifying. They put you in a sack and you're just sacked. What dark schemes do they follow? A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius Agrippa, a well-known Eurydite, visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn in a fortnight, and then his remarks for a kingdom of past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate the borough in the northwestern glades, only never to be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in Greenall some ten years later. He'd have missed the notion that he ever visited Altstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brindenburg lives in a close life with his family at the castle nearby. Altstad, like most of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, the reality of my accent just dawned on me. I sound like an idiot. I'm gonna enjoy listening to this later. I'll stand like most of the noble births. Rumors are inherited alongside the title. Race searching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a noble man from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Parisian state. Alexandria helped the region flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family always seems secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This is fed from the idea that the Baron was in fact the same one who came to the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time occupation, and joined the converted Order of the Black Eagle along with the leaders of this country. Oh, it's like the Illuminati. Also, I'm killing an Alexander. I wonder if they're related. Maybe, possibly, probably. Who knows? Alright, first book, right? Yeah? Second book, right? Yeah? Third book, right? Yeah? I am a genius. Maybe locked, but there's nothing that could lock my big brain out of this room. Tiny brains never make it this far. They they quit the game right here. Big brains, big brains, we make it this far. Yes, sir. Massive brain, all right. Pick that up first. Wilhelm and his foes have endangered my research long enough for the absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The chef is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's a matter of time until they follow the trial to Bennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm up and his men to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until this matter has been handled. Either the king's men will leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they will all rot for lack care. Maybe I will feed them some wine and solve a sensible of both of our problems. You know, normally... Doors don't just, like, explode open like that. Normally something causes them to explode. That's just... Of course it won't budge. That'd be too easy. That'd be too easy. 
Easy peasy, lemons squeezy. All right, I'm going to end this episode here. Unfortunately, that is all I have time for today. This was pretty fun. I'm liking it so far. I remember a bit of this. I don't remember much, though. I think I made it to the wine cellar last time. I don't know. Either way, this is pretty, uh, pretty uh, fun so far. I'm actually kind of scared. And I want to learn more about this. Hopefully, the Amnesia games uh, have a lot to offer. I mean, I know they've got a lot to offer. There's a lot of stuff you can do with them. But I'm very interested in what's going to happen. Either way, thank you for tuning in. And um, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye. I let out some gas and apparently couldn't handle it, almost passed out. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh man, I gotta go this way, don't I?